What we, ha- we can certainly have then reliability, stability, and typicality without these preformed essences. And we can be exposed, inventive, and flexible, and still be biological and real. You might smile that I refer to preformationism from time to time. Uh, we tend in biology to dismiss this with a smile. I mean, how quaint and sweet of those old people to think that a whole organism could be curled up inside of a sperm or of an egg. But I have argued that this rather more technologically advanced notion of genetic instructions or recipes or blueprints is still a kind of preformationism. That is, this, this search for a way of seeing the future already contained in one element of the past. The notion of genetic information, of course, is not taken as a metaphor. It's become part of the technological vocabulary. I think that this notion of biological essence or nature is very, very much entangled with the ideas of identity, of freedom and constraint, normality and disease. And I think that this is, these are issues that gain urgency as social change and technological change speed up. Both of the examples I want to mention Um, I would say can and should be celebrated as personal and political victories. And yet, especially looked at from the perspective on development that I've been trying to point to here, I think they raise some questions about human variation, identity, and action. So the first one has to do with changes in the positions of homosexuality. And I mean position both as social location in the world and as a political attitude. I think largely gone are the days when gay people um, shunned and resisted biological explanations as stigmatizing. In fact, certainly in the United States, and I'd be curious to know how this works in other countries, it is very common to find the, the claim that sexual orientation is innate. Interestingly enough, it's the politically conservative, especially the radical right in the United States, that insists that it is chosen and therefore can and should be viewed as a sin which, like any sin, can be renounced. Current claims to biological homosexuality in the United States are tied to the particulars of U.S. law which protects certain groups from discrimination. So in that political and legal context, it can be very advantageous to claim membership in a biologically determined minority group. This is one of the ways that one can win one's civil rights. This, in turn, fits very nicely with narratives of self-discovery the narratives that are often very painful, very inspiring, often involving early uh, refusal and denial and humiliation and attempts at correction and perhaps leading to um, a moment of revelation, of acceptance, of acknowledgement. It is a classic coming out story. I have no desire to denigrate these stories these histories. I have no desire to minimize the uh, the importance uh, of the life, uh, the improvement in life circumstances that can accompany these. Still, I want to ask some questions. On today's social landscape, people not only discover that they are really lesbian or gay, but perhaps that they are really bisexual or really transgendered. A transgendered person may discover not only a female true self trapped in a male body, but a lesbian true self in that body. There are people who have come out as gay 
only to discover that they are really bisexual or straight after all. Of course, the case of the transgendered is especially intriguing because there seems to be an incongruence here. Usually we've associated the idea of the biological self with the body. And yet, for a transgendered person, transgender person, it is precisely the body that is deeply alien to this other essential self. I just wonder, and this is a real wonder, I mean, I don't have a question, an answer in mind, whether this proliferation of essences and to a, a lesser degree um, the drama of the misidentified essence will be self-limiting in time as more and more kinds of real identities are embraced and as fluidly redefinable identities might come to undermine this narrative of the discovered true self. <laughs>